All right, hey everybody. So I had another video in the pipeline. Um, ironically enough, it was another Halloween Horror Nights themed video, um, and it was going to be sort of a speculation for the IPs uh, of next year's event. So it's a little teaser for the next video on the channel, but I really needed to get this one out there because this is a huge deal in relation to Universal. I guess they heard that Disney was making all kinds of announcements about, you know, ride openings and, and changes to their program and, and things that everybody was excited about. So Universal had to get in on that and announce two brand new theme park experiences coming to two different states. Now, they announced a sort of family themed park in Texas, and I can do a video about that family themed park, but I really wanted to talk about this, the Universal Horror Experience coming to Las Vegas. So this is wild. I didn't expect anything like this to ever happen. Um, sort of like a year round Horror Nights experience um, coming to anywhere across the country, especially somewhere that's not uh, in Orlando or Hollywood. Um, you know, they've done year round experiences before, like the Walking Dead house um, in Hollywood. But I'm just so curious as to what a whole Halloween Horror Nights sort of compound will look like. But let's get into some of the details they provided us here. So right away, uh, sort of the details provided by Universal specify that this is going to be a whole experience. So it's not just specifying it's going to be like a haunted house or a couple haunted houses, but this is a full-on experience. There's going to be uh, different entertainment, uh, new uh, merchandise, and, and, and food and beverage locations, and I'm guessing in this case haunted houses and scare zones. Uh, so it's going to be the full package, which would make sense because of the fact that uh, Halloween Horror Nights anymore is not just the haunted houses, the scare zones, and the occasional show. It's a whole experience, so I think they're really taking uh, the best of that. Um, those are offerings in Orlando and Hollywood uh, and bringing that to this new area. In this article, which I will link down below, it's from hhncrypt.com, uh, but in this article they talk about classic horror characters um, such as Frankenstein, Dracula, the Mummy, the Universal Classic Monsters, and newer horror IP like uh, stuff from Blumhouse, uh, James Wan, Jordan Peele, uh, Monkey Pop Productions, stuff that's affiliated with Universal in the past and with Halloween Horror Nights. Um, so I think it's interesting that they're really sort of mentioning the IP here because Universal has a really solid horror lineup. I mean, like I said, not just those characters I mentioned, but I believe Michael Myers is also um, owned by Universal or at least of the Blumhouse right now. So there's plenty of horror characters they will be able to use. I don't see them really going third party here um, just because for the seasonal events, I think I feel like it's a little easier to get some of those other companies to sign on. And speaking of characters, I guess I just have to talk about the concept piece um, here. And I know I'm kind of bouncing around here, but the concept piece features some characters that look a lot like Jack the Clown um, right here front and center. Uh, and of course, there's some other characters back there. I'm not sure exactly where those characters are from or if they're not from anything yet uh, or if they're original icons that we'll be seeing in this sort of um, sort of experience but it really tells me that they're going to be leaning into some of the original IP. So it's not just horror movies that are gonna make their way to this uh, to this experience, but also original Halloween Horror Nights characters. And uh, I'm just curious what the extent of that's gonna be, because a lot of the success of the icons comes with their sort of limited time marketing uh, for special anniversary events and things like that. So who's to say these characters won't just be sort of one-offs and, and come every once in a while, uh, but I don't know. I mean, Universal Hollywood has their own icon with like Hollywood Harry um, is really the icon they've been using for a little while um, at that event. So maybe they'll be inventing some new icons for this experience. Now, one thing I haven't really talked about too much is the location of this event and the affiliation with Area 15. And for those who don't know, Area 15 is another really immersive sort of interactive experience with dining and shopping and uh, also just different kinds of like attractions sort of deal um, you know different different interactive experiences so I think it's a perfect pairing um, with Halloween Horror Nights being sort of an interactive experience and uh, this location is right next 
to Area 15 um, in Las Vegas. So that's pretty interesting. It's part of a 20 acre expansion of Area 15 and occupying a 110,000 square foot space. So quite a large plot, but that gets me to like what kind of experiences we're going to have because you're probably gonna get some haunted houses and some scare zones, but also I think there is a chance of getting some Halloween Horror Nights themed escape rooms because that's another sort of popular aspect of these sort of entertainment districts is the escape room. I mean, Universal just opened a pretty large scale escape room in City Walk in Orlando. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're pursuing a sort of Halloween Horror Nights escape room. Maybe it is in this giant warehouse here, um, which is sort of the main focal point of this photo and in the concept piece detailing where this is going to go. Um, that warehouse is front and center. So maybe that's going to house a huge escape experience, uh, something more than just a simple escape room. Um, and of course, putting like a horror twist in there um, could make it really interesting and really creepy. So uh, I wouldn't be um, too surprised if that's the case. I don't have as many ideas about like specifically what could be coming. Um, this is still super early on. So uh, I will be covering this more and more as we get more details about it. Uh, what does this mean for Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando or in Hollywood? As for Hollywood, I'm not sure how this is really going to affect that park because that park is much more of a locals based experience when it comes to Halloween Horror Nights, just like kind of how Universal Hollywood is in general. And if people are really going to be traveling to the West Coast for a Halloween Horror Nights experience, they're going to probably be going to this Vegas experience. So I'm not sure how this is really going to affect Hollywood all too much, maybe other than some character overlap. Maybe some of the same creative team as well, uh, you know, John Murdy and all of them over there. I'm not too, too familiar with Hollywood Hollywood's uh, event and how it's sort of run. Uh, I'm a Florida guy, so I don't really know too much of that, but I think it will be interesting to see. However, Florida is interesting because we are also getting an Area 15 uh, sort of uh, complex over in Orlando, not too far from Universal Orlando and Epic Universe. So I wonder if those three things are going to intersect at some point and if this Area 15 uh, sort of connection is going to evolve into something bigger, uh, maybe not just with Halloween Horror Nights, but maybe with some other IPs, some other interactive experiences. Um, so really Really, the potential is there. Uh, it's at this point where we're it's so early on that the speculation is just uh, anything's possible. Universal in Las Vegas, Halloween Horror Nights in Las Vegas. What do you think about it? Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know who could be appearing, what you would like to see at this Halloween Horror Nights experience. So yeah, I'm really excited to see this. I mean, Area 15 is really well themed. If you haven't checked out any videos on it or been yourself, I really recommend. And I think it's sort of the perfect pairing with the kind of immersive theming that's done at Halloween Horror Nights and the style of theming that's done at Halloween Horror Nights. So anyway, those are just a few of my quick thoughts on this new horror experience, Halloween Horror Nights experience coming to Las Vegas. Uh, I wanna thank you all for watching this video. Thank you all for being patient with me. Um, I'm kind of getting over a cold um, and it was my birthday recently. So just everything kind of being crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, I have a new video again coming out next week, uh, more uh, structured than this one about Halloween Horror Nights 32. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that one. And uh, if you like Halloween Horror Nights, if you like theme parks, if you wanna see me talk about this stuff more as it happens, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we really appreciate it. We're growing uh, really fast. It, it, it's insane. Uh, so thank you all for that. And I will catch you in the next video. Stay spooky, my friends.